Hi, and welcome to EdTech Screencast, sponsored by Albion College Instructional Technology. My name is Sarah Noah, and I'm the Instructional Technologist here at Albion College. And today we're kicking off a short screencast series on how to use Google Apps and what benefits they provide here on campus. So at Albion, we use Gmail as our email network. And fortunately, Google offers a lot of different features to help us stay organized, communicate, and to collaborate with each other but there are not a lot of people on campus taking advantage of what Google has to offer. So today in this series, we're gonna overview how to use Google Calendar, Google Documents, Drive, and Hangouts uh, to help us be more organized and efficient here on campus. So we're gonna skip over how to use Gmail since most of you are already using that every day. And we're gonna start with Google Calendar today. And Calendar is a great way to keep track of your events, to schedule appointments, and to invite other people to these appointments as well. So you can access your calendar in two ways. The first is through your Gmail account. So uh, you will notice that I have a tab here with my Gmail account, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in and show you how I can access the calendar. So I'm going to log in and I'm just going to click into this email so you're not looking at my emails for too long. But you can be looking at your email list to do this as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a menu in the top right hand corner of the page and it's the square with nine square boxes inside of it. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to search for the calendar app which is right here. And when I click on that a new tab appears which is great because now I can switch back and forth between my email and my calendar uh, with ease and so I can go back if I need to. The second way to log in is to just go to google.com and so I just did a basic Google search here and over here I would click sign in. Now it's gonna bring me to my sign in page and notice I went to google.com, I didn't go to my Gmail and so all it did was sign me into Google and then again you see your menu in the top right hand corner that says Google Apps and again I click on calendar and my calendar is going to pop up. So I'm gonna get rid of one of these so I don't have extras lying around. All right, there are a couple of things I want to show you. You can see that obviously I use my calendar uh, just a little bit. I don't put all of my events in the calendar, but I do put meetings in. You will have a blank calendar the first time you log in and you need to add events or invite other people to attend the events that you add to your calendar. Both are pretty simple. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to use this mini calendar off to the left of the screen and I want to choose a date that I need to set for a meeting. So if you want, you can scroll forward and backward through the months. Okay, so I'm going to just schedule a meeting arbitrarily in July for now. And all you have to do is click the day you want to schedule a meeting. So I'm going to say July 11th, I'd like to schedule a meeting. The other thing I want you to notice is up here in the top right hand corner, I view my calendar one week at a time, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You can come over here and click on day and you would just see the day you chose. I could see the whole week, I could see the whole month if I want to, or four days at a time. So that's kind of up to you. I'm just going to have the weekly option up as I show you how to add items to your calendar and invite other people to those events as well. So to schedule an event, I simply click on the time of the event and then type in the information requested. So uh, say I want to have a meeting on July 11th at 10 a.m. I just click at 10 a.m. And all I would have to do is add a title. The example title here is Breakfast at Tiffany's. But sometimes I don't need to schedule an hour-long meeting or I need to make changes here. And you notice I can't click on the when. So what I like to do is I click edit event here and it gives me a page where I can add even more information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to title this and I'm just going to call this sample. And I'm going to decide that this is actually, this is going to be a 45 minute meeting. I want it to go from 10 to 10.45, but you notice that I don't have that option. So all I need to do is I can go in here and I can just type 10.45 AM, hit enter, and it scheduled it for that time. Additionally, I can set events for all day or to repeat just by checking one of these boxes. Down here, I like to add where, so maybe I would say it's in my office, and that way I know where it's going to be and where I need to go. 
You will also want to check this calendar button. You want to make sure that your name is added here unless you have rights to edit another calendar. And if I click down, I have rights to edit another calendar to a room here on campus. So I could add it to either calendar, but in this case, I want to make sure it's on my personal calendar and that's the one that lines up with my name. If I want to add a description, I can, and for now I'm just going to write in sample. And that will appear when you need to see your event. If you need to remind yourself what the meeting is about or any other information about it, this is where you put it. You can add an attachment. You can change the color scheme if you want. My default color is this blue here, but I'll just click on this green and then you can see what that looks like when it pops up. I can choose a notification. I can also delete the notification by hitting this X. This is nice because I'll get a message that will pop up that says you have a meeting in 10 minutes or a reminder you have a meeting in 30 minutes. And so that's a nice feature. And then down here you have show me as available or busy. There are some things that I add to my calendar that if someone wanted to come and ask me a question or they needed help with something, they could still come see me. And so if that's the case, I would check available. But if I'm having a meeting with someone else and I don't want to be disturbed, then I can click busy and then others know who can see my calendar that they shouldn't come and interrupt. The other thing that you can do from this page is you can share this event with someone who you hope to invite to the event. So I set up this meeting and say I want to invite someone to this meeting. I'm going to come over to this add guests area over here. And I'm going to just type in the email or the name of the person that I want. If the person is from Albion College, their name should appear just by typing in their name here. If they're outside of Albion College, you will definitely have to put in their email address. So for now, I just typed in my name. And I could go ahead and I could click my name. And you see down here it says the guest that you've added, Sarah Noah. And so it hasn't invited them yet. I need to make sure all my information is correct. And once I know that it is and I, I'm inviting the people that I want to invite, I will click Save. And you'll see, first of all, the event appeared and it appeared in that color that we chose. If I were to click on this, okay, it says when, it gives me my time frame. It tells me where I'm going. It says who is also invited or who's involved. Now, because this is also me, this is showing two perspectives. I created this, but I also invited myself. And so now I have the option down here of saying, am I going? Yes, maybe, or no. And if I am going, I can say yes. If I'm not, I would say no. And really what happens is when I create that and I add someone else's name as a guest, they're going to receive an email that says, you've been invited to this event. Can you go? Yes, maybe, or no. And depending on what they say, your calendar will adjust accordingly. So if it says no, this will be deleted. If it says, if they say yes, it will be added in. So uh, if I want to completely delete an event, I can just right click on it. I see, oh, Sarah can't make this meeting. I click delete. It's not there anymore. So finally, it's sometimes helpful to share your calendar with another person, perhaps your boss, a coworker, someone you may be trying to schedule a meeting with. Uh, basically, if you can see someone else's calendar, you know when they're free and you know when you have free time in common, and so you can schedule these appointments quite easily. And this allows you to just invite that person to a meeting at that time rather than having to go through the process of sending three or four emails back and forth of I'm free this time, oh I'm not free at that time, how about this time? So to share your calendar, what you want to do is you want to come over to this My Calendar section over here on the left side of the screen and you want to find the calendar you want to share. Now again, you see I have a couple of calendars here, but I want to share my personal calendar. And so I'm going to I make sure I hover over that calendar and click the little down arrow. And then I'm going to see an option that says share this calendar and I'm going to click on that. Okay, You can do a couple of different things. Here you can make this calendar public and that means anybody can see it. You can also share it with everyone just with the Albion College uh, email account or Gmail account. But I like to use this share with specific people option. There is not a lot of time when I would want to share my calendar with a lot of people. I just want a few people to see so that we can schedule a meeting. So down here I would click into this box and again I can type a name or email address and 
you notice Google tells me that I cannot share it with myself and that's fine but you saw that I can type in an email address there and uh, and the name should pop up if they're in network and it will it won't if they're out of network uh, but you'll just input their email address and it will still share with them you want to make sure you adjust the permissions okay what kind of permissions do you want this person to have do you just want them to see your calendar or do you want to want them to edit your calendar and make changes to it do you want them to be able to edit the calendar and share it with other people as well do you only want them to see when you're free and busy or free or busy certain types of things so you choose what kind of permissions that person's going to get then you come over here and you can click save so this is Google Calendar and let me just get back here so this is Google Calendar It's a great way to stay organized it's free with your Albion College Gmail account it already exists in your menu all you have to do is click in and start adding your events and items and inviting other people to attend those events and if you have any questions or you want to know more about how to use Google Calendar and you're a part of the Albion College Gmail network, please feel free to contact Instructional Technology here at Albion College. Uh, you can email us at instatech at albion.edu or you can give us a call.